When Daryl Lucas was 19 years old, a criminal conviction stripped him of some of his rights. They conditioned me and told me if I'm a felon, I cannot vote no more. The now 50-year-old Harlem man served his time and he has a job, but the one-time felon felt his freedom was limited. He didn't think he'd ever vote again because of his time spent behind bars. Until Saturday. When Lucas was approached by a member of the Alliance of Families for Justice. And she said, um, are you ready to vote? I said, I used to. She said, why you won't vote? I said, because I have a felony. She said, oh, no, come to the table. That's wrong. Um, you can vote. And that's what I did. The Alliance is hosting this voting registration drive for New Yorkers to practice voting rights. Well, it made me feel good. It made me feel that I'm somebody. That I'm a person. According to the American Civil Liberties Union, nearly six million Americans can't vote because of felony convictions. Each state has varying felony disenfranchisement laws. In New York, people in prison cannot vote. All other people with criminal convictions, including those in probation, can vote. And an executive order signed by Governor Cuomo in 2018 restores voting rights to those on parole through a conditional pardon. I've had loved ones who were incarcerated since I was a teenager. Sophia Elijah is the executive director of the Alliance of Families for Justice. Through her own experiences, she strives to address racial bias and the disenfranchisement of people of color, many of whom have incarcerated families members. They can be heard and recognized. No longer can they be marginalized. Lucas is energized to share his voice this November. You just push it right up inside. Encouraging others to practice their civil rights. And if you don't think you can vote, you can't. I don't care if you have a felony. It's your duty to vote. You have that right. The voter registration tent on Lenox Avenue between 111th and 112th streets will continue every Saturday into the elections. Now, filling out the actual form is pretty easy and it only takes one to two minutes. Once you fill it out, you send it back into the Board of Elections, then you'll receive all the information you need for November's elections. We're in Harlem, Rebecca Solomon, PIX11 News.